here we are at the Children and Youth Activity Center, the CYC. I can hardly wait. Praise Kids is back this Sunday. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Hey, who is that up there? Let me just see if I can just come on up. Miss Carlene, hey, that... what are you doing? Yeah. I might be able to see some of them around the place, but oh. it's school holiday, so it's like nothing. Nothing? Oh, no. give me a look. I'll, I'll, I'll be up in a second, okay? Alright. Won't be long. Hey, Miss Carly. Hey, Pastor Luke. How are you, how are you going? Yeah, good. I tell you what, there's no kids around here, but man, have you seen the clouds today? Hell yeah. Huge, they look nice clouds, scattered isn't they? everywhere. So you haven't seen any any kids yet, Miss Caroline? No, I haven't. But I'm, I'm keen to go and tell them a story. You are? Yeah, uh, I want to tell them a story about some about well, one little cloud. Yeah, one little cloud. It was like the size of, of a man's fist. A man's fist. Not like these ones today. They're everywhere. Yeah. Cute. Yeah, a few clouds. Hey, Miss Caroline. Yes. When you were a kid, yes. did you have a look up into the sky and see if you can? Uh, See if you can make something of the clouds. Yeah, I think I can see a snowman up there. A snowman? Yes, it looks like a lot of uh, frozen. Oh, yeah. Can you see it just up there? Which ones? Up, up there. Oh, yeah, I think I can see which one you're talking about. Yeah, can you see anything? Uh, well, I think I can see that same one to me. It looks like a piranha. A piranha? Yeah, it looks like it's got a, a big a big choppy mouth on him. Yeah, it does look a bit choppy. I can yeah. see that one. Or it could be like a T-Rex head or something. Uh, it could be, yep. yeah. Over there, Miss Carlene. Uh, what does that look like? Um, that looks like oh, I sort of see someone like they're running. They got like a hand stretched out. Right. Yeah. But anyway, Miss Carlene, enough of talking about clouds. Yes. Uh, I reckon all this talk of uh, clouds and you haven't seen any kids yet, though. That sort of does sound like that story. I think you were trying to hint at. So how about we go and have a look at that? Yeah, let's go. Praise kids. Hey, praise kids. How are you going? Were those clouds amazing? Oh, it was a beautiful sky this afternoon, Miss Carolyn. Sure was. It was pink and everything. Well, I don't, I don't know about that, but I'll take your word for it. <laughs> so, today is a story about a cloud. Right. And the man's name is Elijah. 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 And there's a lot of story that builds up to before we get to the cloud story. Yes, there's a few. So, we need to open up our classic candle Bibles. Yes, Miss Carlene, to page 126. 126? Yep. And you're going to help them to start the story off. Oh, yeah, Miss Carlene. And the, uh, the story is 180. Miracle food. All right, you start there. You can start reading. Okay, Miss Carlene. So, it says, from Jeroboam to Omri, they were kings in Israel. All right. Israel had seven kings, and not one of them loved and obeyed God. Man, I'm sure glad we get to hang out with praise kids who love God. I reckon. I don't think I'd like to hang out with these guys. No. It says, all of them bowed down to idols and worshipped worshipped false gods. Ahab was the worst king of all. He married Jezebel, the daughter of a heathen king, and she worshipped the false god Baal. And soon Ahab began to worship him too. Got to watch out who you hang around, Miss Carlene, because no, no. uh, they, they have an influence on you. They sure do. Yep, okay. Like, uh, I've started wearing these weird Wally shirts because they're <laughs> hanging around you. <laughs> well, I took your name, so oh, that's, that's why I have to wear the shirts. <laughs> that's true. Okay, it says, uh, He built a temple to Baal and set up altars for idol worship. God sent the prophet Elijah to tell Ahab about the punishment God would send. This, the message was this. Elijah said to uh, King Ahab, My God says that for the next few years, no rain will fall unless I give my permission. And uh, Elijah actually went away and prayed, mm. and then the rain stopped. Okay? And it says, Ahab was furious with Elijah, so God told Elijah to hurry away and hide near the Kerith brook. Okay? God said, You can drink water from the brook, and I will send ravens to bring you food. Oh. Meals on wheels Crows. or meals on wings. Mm. Okay. Yeah. What, what do you call the? Um, what do you call it when the people at the uh, in the cars deliver your food? Yeah, meals on wheels. No, no, there's another one. Delivery man. 
<laughs> no, no, Miss Colleen. Do you know the guys who uh, go and pick up your food for you and then deliver it? Oh, Uber. Uber Eats. <laughs> Uber Eats. Oh, it's the original Uber Eats. It's okay. The yum, yum. But it says for a long time, Elijah ate the bread and the meat the ravens brought and had water to drink from the brook. But without rain, the brook finally dried up. So God said, Now go to the village of Zarephath. I have told a widow there to take care of you. And she Ooh. did. God has a couple more miracles, Miss Colleen. But let's jump over yes. to page uh, 129. Yes. 185 story. God sends rain at last. And how about you read that for us, This Ms. is Colleen? a story we really want them to hear. That's true. It said, after Elijah had informed King Ahab that rain was on the way, he climbed to the top of Mount Carmel and knelt down. He said to his servant, look out towards the sea. Then tell oh, me. Actually, what... I think the sea's this way. Oh. But we better keep facing the camera. Then so. tell me what you see. The servant came back and said, "I see nothing. Nothing. I mean, I don't see anything. That's what it says here. See nothing. But in the Bible, it says I don't see nothing." Oh. What? Elijah said, "Go again." So uh, he said this to the servant seven times. So the second time he didn't see anything. No. Third time, nothing. Nothing. Fourth time, nothing. Nothing. Fifth time, nothing. Nothing. Sixth time, surely something. Nothing. Nothing. But on the seventh Do you think he would time, be getting a bit discouraged? A little bit. A little bit? A lot of bit. Yeah, because sometimes when you pray about things and then you don't hear God the first time, you wake up the next day and you expect God to have answered your prayer, someone get healed. Nothing. Or get a new friend or help you with something. And nothing. No, nothing. Next year, same thing. But nothing. Would you just give up? No, you don't give no, up. No, you don't give up. Why but, not? Well, let's read. Let's see why. Why? Okay. Finally, the servant returned and reported, I see a very small cloud on the horizon. How big? Size of an elephant? It's no larger than a man's hand. Now, let's show us. Show the kids how big the hand is. A yeah. man's hand. That's pretty tiny, Miss Cullen. It especially is. when it's way up there in the sky. I It'll know. almost be like a speck. I know. They must Where? have thought Elijah was crazy, hey? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so, good, said Elijah. Now go and tell Ahab that he better drive quickly down the mountain. Soon the rain will be so heavy, he won't be able to make the trip. Wow. Even as he spoke, the small cloud grew larger. In just moments, in just moments, the wind blew fiercely. Then the rain came down and it poured. And King Ahab was riding in his chariot to the city. And God gave Elijah the strength to run faster than Ahab's chariot. And Elijah, re yeah. Elijah reached the city first. First. I think the Bible says Elijah, he had like a big cloak on. <laughs> he tucked it up like his belt, <laughs> Harry High Pants, and he ran faster. That's pretty impressive. And he actually beat Ahab with his chariot. Oh, and his oh, 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 man, he he would have had to have set, that would have to be like a world record. Because I don't know any man alive who's ever beaten a horse. No, it's pretty fast. So Olympics it? 2020 goes to Elijah yep. for the 100 meter sprint, but yes. it probably would have actually been a few K. Mm -hmm. So he breaks all the records. Cool. That's, that's pretty <laughs> nice. Tell you what. So that, that's the story amazing. of Elijah in the cloud. Very good. I like okay. Miss, I love that story. Miss yeah. Carleen, so have you got um, your other Bible there, your oh. new living Bible? Yes, I do. Can you just have a quick read for me yes. in the Praise Kids from James chapter 5? Verse sort of end part of 16 and 17. Oh, us. end part of 16. Uh, all right, so the earnest prayer of a righteous person that we want that's, to start. That's good, Miss The Kat. earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and Ooh. produces wonderful results. Hang on a minute, what's earnest mean? Earnest, that means they keep trying, they keep going, they earnest don't means give desperate. up. Desperate. Yeah, yep. Desperate. Because it says when Elijah prayed, it wasn't just like a Oh God, um, if you're up there somewhere, can you just like, oh, maybe like, uh, listen to me and just, he was like, says he's bowed. God, I'm here, listen to me. He bowed down with his Please. head between his knees. And man, he was crying out, he was desperate. Please God help He me. wasn't just having a wimpy prayer. He was, he was praying with a, with an earnest, desperate prayer, okay? And so praise kids, if you want uh, to get serious with God, God will get serious with you. Okay, and uh, when you pray, you don't have to like, I don't know, you don't have to be weird or intense, but you can just be really heartfelt because God sees it when we pray from our hearts, he not does. just our heads. Yes. You don't have to pray some 
prayer you memorized a hundred years ago, although you're probably only six or seven years old. <laughs> you can pray a prayer from your heart that you really mean. That's what it means to pray earnestly. Yes, Miss Cullen, keep going. And it says, Elijah, Elijah oh, yeah. was as human as we are, and yet when he prayed earnestly oh, that no Lord. rain would fall, none fell for three and a half years. Three and a half years. Then when he prayed again, oh, wow. the sky sent down rain and the earth began to yield its crops. Very good. So I think the New King James Version, Miss Colleen, yes. it says, Elijah was a man with a nature like ours. Right. And so just like we talked about before, when he didn't uh, see rain the first time, he might have been a little bit discouraged, like we could be. Yes. And even when he didn't see anything the second time, he's like, oh man, should I, should I keep going? But he was earnest and he pressed in he third time, fourth time. I think, uh, I think we, what we can learn there is it's important to pray until. Just keep praying. It's not about the number. So it's not like, man, if I pray seven times quickly before I go to bed, God's going to answer it. <laughs> <laughs> it's about saying, I'm going to be earnest and I'm going to press in on God and I'm going to be uh, desperate and I'm going to be hungry, if you like. There's another good word uh, to describe our attitude to prayer. We're hungry to see God move, okay? And uh, Miss Colleen, mm. there's a lot of people been praying for us to come back to church, haven't there? They have been. And... Do you know what, praise kids, it looks like this Sunday is going to be the day for us to come back together. So uh, let's keep praying about it and let's, like Elijah, make sure you hitch up your uh, your shorts and uh, run, be, be run, the car. run hard, <laughs> get here. Beat mum and dad's car. Quick, quick as you can <laughs> on Sunday. <laughs> Man, be, be, have early breakfast and get here as quick as you can because we're going to have a party with Jesus <laughs> Okay, yeah. I think there's a song about that by the lads who might even have to dig it out. <laughs> I came to party with Jesus. Yes. Okay, so I loved hearing about that story, Miss, Miss Carlene, because Elijah was just like us, but he prayed and things happened. Yes. He, he broke through. So keep praying, kids. Keep praying. Awesome. You never know what's going to break through. Rightio. Well, have a great night. We'll see you on Sunday. See you on Sunday. Bye. Bye. Miss Carlene? Yes. Should we pray before we say goodbye because we're talking about prayer? How about you pray for us? <laughs> Let's pray. Let's pray. Lord, we just thank you that we can be here tonight and we can read your word and we can learn about Elijah. Yes, and Lord, Lord, we just thank you that um, he showed us that if we just continue to ask you and to, to pray and to believe, Lord God, that there's a breakthrough that's coming. And it might only seem small to us, Lord, but you know that there's big things coming with yes, it. Yes, Lord. So, thank Lord, you, we Father. just believe, Lord, that you will help us when we ask you for help with our friends, that mm. we, you will bring a friend along who can help us through our day. Mm. Lord, we pray that when our family members are sick and we yes, ask Lord. for healing, Lord, that you will hear our prayer and we continue yeah. to ask for healing in their bodies, Lord. Mm. We pray that we'll see that little miracle in them. Yes, Lord. And Lord, we just continue to thank you that uh, when we're feeling down and we're feeling unhappy, Lord, that you can come alongside us and remind us, Lord, that you care in your own little way. Mm. And Father, we just thank you for the many blessings that you shower upon us. They might seem small to us now, mm. but we know that big things are coming, Lord, yes, because Lord. we asked you for our help. For your help, Lord mm, God. Thank you, Lord. Mm. And Father, we just thank you, Lord, that you'd help us, Lord, that we're just like Elijah, Lord. Mm. You said he has a nature. We have a nature just like ours, Lord God. Mm. He's got a nature like ours. And as we uh, don't give up, Lord, as we pray until, Father, that we will see victories and breakthrough as well. We thank you for that song, Lord. It says, I'm going to see a victory, mm. Lord, because the battle belongs to you, Lord. So we thank you for the praise, kids. Bless them, strengthen them this week, Lord. Let uh, your joy fill their hearts. Keep them safe on the holidays, Lord. And bring us all together on Sunday, Lord. Uh, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Rightio, praise kids. See you later on. Have a great week. Enjoy your holidays. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey.